Uh, Mr. Wiggum, could you do me a favor and just count from one to five for me so you, I can get you on my big screens here? Sure. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not getting this. There, there is. we go. Okay, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I'm sorry. No. Okay. But in fact, Mr. Wiggum, it's not true that Mr. Depp ever had a contract with Disney for Pirate 6. Isn't that correct? Can you explain that question or that position? Have you ever seen a contract that provides for Mr. Depp to play Pirate 6? I, to the best of my knowledge, my memory, myself and my partner closed an, an optional picture deal for the amount of money of what that picture would be for Johnny. <sighs> And you would you would make sure to have that in writing, wouldn't you? You know, that would normally go through legal counsel in terms of the codification of it. Do you have any explanation for why there exists nothing, no piece of paper, nothing suggesting that Mr. Depp ever had a deal with Disney for Pirate 6? Objection, lack of foundation, compound. Oh, I'll allow it. <laughs> So uh, I often close when I was an agent. We, we would work on many deals where I actually wouldn't see contracts. They were verbal in nature. And then, you know, especially on, on optional pictures, just so there was an understanding of what the money would be. So do you have an explanation why there is not even a piece of paper, not an email, not a text, not a piece, not a document, nothing that suggests that Mr. Depp is going to be in Pirate 6 as Jack Sparrow. Objection, asked and answered. I, I don't believe it was. So overruled, I'll uh, it, I mean, if you're asking me my opinion, it wouldn't necessarily be alarming because that would be a conversation usually to understand Disney's gonna wanna know, are we on the same, uh, are we on the same uh, page about what the money's gonna be? And. Most of that conversation, if I remember correctly, was also with one of Johnny's lawyers at the time. Okay, and and so you you had so Johnny's lawyer was discussing this, but there's no document. Do you have an explanation I, for that? You may, well, you may know better than me if there is a document, but that that was Jake Bloom, you know, at the time, I believe, if memory serves me correct. All right. But you, would it be fair to say that you have never seen a document that provides that Mr. Depp was going to be in Pirate 6? It, it would be fair to say that it was consistent with a lot of the conversations that I would have on behalf of Big Stars, where it was verbal and there was an understanding of what the, what the deal was going to be. Mr. Wiggum, if you could please answer my question. Objection, harassment. He did answer the question. I'll allow you to ask your question. Go ahead. Thank you. Judy, can, uh, uh, can, you, can you repeat the question? Sorry. Judy, can you read that back? Thank you. Sorry. All right. But would it be fair to say that you have never seen a document that provides that Mr. Jeff was going to be in Pirate 6? It, it, it would be fair to say that I have not seen a document on Pirates. Now, just so you know, I don't, I, Mr. Wiggum, met. Mr. Wiggum, I don't, I don't need you to give me extra. I just want you to answer mine. I just want to know: Have you ever seen a document that says Mr. Depp is going to be in Pirate Six? I, I only to, to fully answer the question, though. I think there's, there's some context. That's that's, that's, it would, that's an easy yes or no. Have you seen a document? Te technically, I. I perhaps have because it connects to all the other Pirates films. It's just a modification of a new document. So I, I have not seen 22.5 million written on a page. You're correct about that. Okay. Now, you, in fact, uh, had discussions back in 2016 and 2017 with Mr. Bailey, Sean Bailey. You talked about him a little bit ago, right? Yeah. And, and, and you also had discussions with Jerry Bruckheimer in 2016 and 2017, correct? Yes. About Mr. Depp potentially being in Pirate 6, correct? 
And then you and then you had discussions in 2018 with Mr. Bailey, and he was quite non-committal about whether Mr. Depp would be in Pirate Six. Correct? Objection. Hearsay. That's fine. All right. Okay. Given that he was able to, I, uh, I'll sustain as to hearsay. It is okay. hearsay. All right. So you so you determined, Mr. Wiggum, that by the fall of 2018, it was very likely that Mr. Depp was not going to be in Pirate Six. Is that correct? It's a two-pronged answer from my perspective because there was really two individuals involved in that decision. I would say Jerry Bruckheimer and Sean Bailey. Jerry Bruckheimer in the fall of 2018 really wanted Johnny in that next film. And Sean was non-committal, as you said. And Mr. Bruckheimer made it clear to you that Mr. Bailey was the one who gets to decide because he's Disney, right? Ultimately, and he also wanted to be the tip of the spear to really try to convince Sean. Okay. Now, do you recall... Thank you. Thank you. Do you recall having your deposition taken on January 20, 2021? Okay. Yes, ma'am, with you. Okay, can you pull that up, Michelle, please? Thank you. I'm going to ask you to turn to page 44. And Mr. Wiggum, you were under oath at the time of this deposition, correct? Correct? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Line 10. This is page 44, line 10. The question, do you recall approximately when in 2018 you inferred from Mr. your discussion with Mr. Bailey that the likelihood of Mr. Depp being in Pirate 6 was not high or was going away? And your answer at that time was, if memory serves me, the latter part of 2018 maybe. Question, when you say latter, is that any time from August to December or what are you thinking? Answer, I would say fall, you know, maybe, you know, October, November, December, in that area. Do you recall giving that testimony under oath at that time? I, I do now that I see it, yes. Okay. And in fact, there were quite a few things going on earlier in 2018 that might have had a bit of an uh, 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 impact on Mr. Depp's reputation. Would you agree? If you, it might help if you refresh your recollection. Sure, sure. But and before I go there, though, I think you said that the reason it was so catastrophic for Mr. Depp for the op-ed was because it was a first-person account of Johnny, right? Do you remember saying that? Yes. Okay. Wasn't it a first-person account when Ms. Heard filed for the TRO? In 2016? So that, that would have predated any relationship I had to Johnny, so I had no knowledge of that. Okay, so you don't know whether it was catastrophic then? It, I, I, if you're asking me my opinion on, on something I don't know, I can form an opinion right now. Uh, it's a court document and probably a little different than an op-ed in the Washington Post, um, but I would agree it's not a, now that I'm forming an opinion, that it's not a great headline for sure. When you read the op-ed, did you read it online or did you read it in the actual Post paper? I don't remember. Well, let's pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 2. Does this refresh your recollection? Very hard for me to see. Is that is that just the can, paper? Can we? We're going to try to sc scroll in a little bit more. Again, just uh, you can help me. I, is that the paper? Is yes. That the article. Yes, that's the Washington Post. 
So uh, what's the question, sorry? Do you re does this help refresh your recollection of whether you saw it in print or whether you saw it online? It does not, but I'll tell you that I did not typically pick up the Washington Post, you know. Okay, and so while we're sitting, if, if you can, just uh, you're saying that then two years ago I became, oops, I better not do that. Let's uh, clear that one. Then two years ago, I it's catastrophic for Mr. Depp. Is that your testimony? My testimony is that it reads like a victim statement from someone involved and the recipient, and it became a, a yes, a bit of a death nail, catastrophic thing for Mr. Depp in the Hollywood community. All right, well, let's go to, let's pull up Defendant's Exhibit 99. Now there was in fact an article published in the Sun newspaper by Dan Wooten, the editor in chief, on April 27, 2018. Do you recall that? Now that I'm looking at it. Does that, that refreshes your recollection? And in fact, yes. this article calls Mr. Depp a wife beater, does it not? Objection hearsay. I, I'll allow it for them. Uh, you know what? I can't. I can't see the print, even with these glasses. But uh, all right. Well, we'll. I'll take your word for it. Well, the the title here is "How Can J.K. Rowling Be Genuinely Happy Casting Wife Beater Johnny Depp in the New Fantastic Beast Film?" Objection. Do you see that? Your Honor. I, I'll allow that. Yes. Okay. Your Honor, I'd like to move the admission of this exhibit. I, I think at this point it's not offered to prove the truth of the matter asserted, but it's going to offer, it, he's testified to he, comparisons of other articles. He, he's, he's testifying to the impact of the op-ed. I think it's in fairness we should be able to put this in and be able to make the comparisons. It's clearly hearsay, Your Honor. Okay, I'll sustain the it's objection. It's not offered to prove I'll the truth of the matter asserted, Your I'll Honor. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Well, let's go to... The third page, now let's go to the fourth page. So it has A5, I think is what I'm trying to get to. So it says paragraph seven. <laughs> so do you recall that it says in here? Uh, Objection hearsay, Your Honor. Your Honor. Uh, She's just trying to backdoor your ruling. 